Say goodbye to your remote controls. With infrared LEDs and ESP Home, you can transform your smart home control. While I'll demonstrate this with my Power over Ethernet ESP32 smart home sensor, you can easily implement this on any ESP device that you have. It's incredibly simple and yet powerful. And I'll show you exactly how it works. Before we dive in, a huge thank you to all of you who signed up on my website and showed interest in buying this hardware. I really appreciate your support. I'm thrilled that so many of you completed the survey and shared your feature wishes for the final product. Haven't had a chance to participate yet? Just click the link in the pinned comment below and let me know what features matter most to you. Your interest and support will determine if this will become a real product and I'm excited to make it happen for you. In order to emulate the remote control, you need two things, an infrared receiver and an infrared transmitter. I use this infrared receiver module here and this infrared diode. My power over internet smart home sensor has actually three LEDs all around the case so that I can send the signal into all directions. The forward current can be up to 100 milliamps or even one amp if we pulse it. And so in order to reach this current, we need to use a transistor to amplify the GPIO signal. Also keep in mind that this diode has a forward voltage of around 1.5 volts. So you need to calculate the resistor accordingly. In my case, I'm using a transistor to power my three LEDs. I calculated the resistors so that I reach around 100 milliamps for every diode. You also have to add the on resistance of the transistor to this calculation. Remember to never look directly into a powered infrared LED. Even though the light isn't visible to our eyes, it can still cause damage. And the receiver itself is very simple. It is supplied with power and directly connected to the GPIO. If you would like to do this with an Arduino instead of an ESP32, check out my other video where I use my Arduino Uno to emulate remote controls. In ESP Home, I use this configuration for the receiver and transmitter. The first step now is to receive the signal that we would like to copy. So I need to access the output of my ESP Home device. I can use my web browser and go to the IP address of my smart home sensor, or I can run ESP Home in the command line. I prefer the command line. If I now press a button on the remote control, the signal will appear. I can now copy this information and create a button in ESP Home. I created this button called AV on off, which emulates turning on and off my Onkyo. And so I just paste in the data that I got from the remote control. And in some rare cases, I had to do multiple things. So for example, for my BenQ projector, in order to turn it off, I have to press the off button then wait a little bit and then press the off button again to confirm that I would really like to turn it off. And so I have to emulate this behavior here. I sent the off command three times. I'm not sure if it's really necessary. Then I add a delay of one second and then I send the command again. So I can now use these actions right here to control my actual devices. Using Home Assistant, I now created a script that converts the living room into a cinema by the push of one button. There is one last thing that I would like to show you. I ordered these lights here from AliExpress and they can also be controlled using infrared signals. So I'm looking forward to also control them using ESP Home. This is going to be great. In the end, I will mount this sensor to every room in the house. So then I will be able to control all of these lights all over the house, which is pretty nice. Let me know if this is a useful feature. Let me know if you maybe already use this feature for your smart home. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel. Check out my smart home sensor playlist to see all of the amazing features. 
And if it looks interesting to you, please use my website to sign up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.